Hello YouTube, this is Delta8030, coming out with a special unboxing today of the uh, FedEx, uh, also known as Federal Express, um, Airbus A310-300 by Gemini Jets. This is a Gemini Jets 2 series aircraft. Uh, this is kind of old. This is actually my brother's aircraft, but he was kind enough to let me unbox it uh, for you guys. Um, if you guys are lucky enough to find one of these somewhere, um, you might want to pick it up. It's a nice aircraft, especially if you are big on cargo at your airport, which I am not particularly. I've already laid out all the cargo that I'm getting. But um, this aircraft is just really nice in my opinion. So um, I asked him if I could review it on my channel, so he said I could. So um, I'm going to start now with the box. Um, up here it says limited edition. You can tell this is an older Gemini Jets box. Um, Diecast model, 140 scale. As you can see, there's a 2D drawing of the aircraft uh, flying. Um, FedEx Express, eight, Airbus A310, uh, made for collectors by collectors, Gemini Jets 2. Um, this is definitely, you can tell, this is an older Gemini Jets box. There's the FedEx logo again, about your collectible. Um, and then, of course, this is a uh, 2004 release, so this plane is quite old, actually. Um, looking at the tab, not much here. There's a little bit about, of information about the aircraft. Um, if you guys didn't know, FedEx has a lot of A310s and A300s. Um, they're big. They're pretty big at most small airports. This is what they mainly fly. So um, it's pretty cool to have, at least for my brother. I don't have it, but he does. Um, so there's the aircraft in the box. Um, it's a real nice looking aircraft, and uh, I'll take it out now. So here you can see the aircraft. Um, as you can tell, it's real nice looking. Um, A310 is pretty much that short stubby plane. Um, it's got those little like some like I don't know. They're just kind of weird looking the wingtips. Um, they got like it looks like the Airbus A320 series wingtip, but it's got the little extra thing in the middle, which I'm not sure what it is, but it looks a little bit weird. Um, it's a very different looking aircraft as compared to most uh, airplanes. So. Um, yeah, I've seen this aircraft a lot. I saw it a lot at Milwaukee, um, where I used to live, and also now in Grand Rapids. I see it a couple times, every so often, but we mainly get A300s. But, um, so, with the overview, uh, let's go into detail now. So, um, this is an older Gemini just released, but it still has great detail. As you can see, there's the um, uh, cockpit windows with the windshield wipers. There you can see the FedEx phrase, it says the world on time. There's the uh, main uh, door for the crew. As you can see, it's got really nice detail. Um, some nice uh, pitot static port sensors, um, some pitot tubes, real nice detailing for uh, for the aircraft. As you can see, there's the FedEx logo as well as the main cargo door. Um, really, really nicely detailed. Gemini just does a great job in their cargo aircraft. Um, there's like I don't know why, but there's just like one window. <laughs> there's like one window for the for the aircraft. I don't know why there's only one, but. Um, there is one, I don't know why, but um, so really nice aircraft, they got your engine here with the FedEx logo on it, and then there's that weird wingtip, like I said before, with the red nav light, you got your FedEx tail as well as your registration, which is November 302 Foxtrot Delta, um, you got your kind of weird looking APU, um, but that's what it looks like on the A310, just a little bit different, kind of angles up, um, you got your nice um, uh, horizontal tail plane, Really nicely done by Gemini, as always. They do a great job on all their models, but also I forgot to point out there's the American flag right by the registration. Um, you can see it there. So there's your another cargo door, as well as the bulk cargo door. You guys can maybe see it. You guys can see the top part of it. Um, so once again, real nice model. There's your single window. You have some, uh, you got your red beacon on top of the aircraft. Um, then you got another cargo door right there. Um, no rolling gears on this model. Um, like I said, this is an older Gemini Jets release, so this is way before any of the models really had the rolling gear. Um, some more good detail, as you guys can see. Um, just really nicely done aircraft. Uh, here's the head-on view. Let's see if I can give it to you. Really nicely done. Let's take a look at the undercarriage. Um, see, there's the Gemini Jets logo. 
Um, you got your uh, nose gear right there. Sorry, the zoom's not working real well. Yep, but there's your. It's got 302 right there. Um, got some more good detailing on the bottom of the aircraft. Um, this is a really nicely done model by Gemini. Um, I mean, if you guys like FedEx or have a big cargo ramp at your airport, this would be a cool plane to try to get. I mean, uh, FedEx has really nice, uh, really nice livery. Um, I know when I'm getting FedEx, I'm going to get the triple two. I think I might get the Panda one, actually, but um, that's beside the point. But if you guys want to get a cool cargo plane, this would be near the top of my list for FedEx. Um, FedEx operates, like I said, a ton of A310s, so this would be real realistic to have at pretty much any airport. So um, I'm going to put it on the stand real quick uh, and show you guys what it looks like, if I can, if it'll fit. What do you know it fits? Voila, something fits on the stand. Um, as you can tell, it looks real nice on the stand. Um, yeah, it's just a real nice aircraft. FedEx, um, I like FedEx old livery, I think a little bit more than the new one. With the blue, it said like Federal Express. It was just real nice looking. And this one's kind of like just a more modern um, logo, but or livery, I should say. But it's really nice. Um, yeah, like I said, this is my brother's aircraft. It's not mine. I sometimes wish it was mine if I was doing a good cargo ramp. But um, yeah, real nice model. Definitely uh, a must get if you have a FedEx hub or if you um, just like the cargo aircraft a lot. Um, but yeah, there's not much else to point out on this aircraft. The detailing is pretty good for an 04 model, but it's nothing compared to the new models. Not to say the model's bad, it just doesn't have the same amount of detailing as some of the um, newer models do. And that's just because Gemini has evolved over time and has gradually increased the detail on their models. So, um, that's nothing against this model. Um, like, for instance, it doesn't have a landing light um, on the wing there. It's missing that. But it's there's not a lot to complain about with this model. It does look real good for an 04. So if you if you see it somewhere and it's at a good price, um, definitely um, I would uh, pick, pick it up if I were to you. So that's basically it for this review. I hope you uh, enjoyed my unboxings today. Should have may Maybe I'll get some in tomorrow. I don't know if I will, but... Um, I had some free time today, so I figured I'd knock a few out. So thank you guys for watching. This is WD30, and uh, thank you again uh, for watching.